Thank you. <laughs> Heather, I think you're muted. Yeah, and that doesn't happen very often. Okay. <laughs> um, for y'all in the chat is how to sign up for women in exhibition. It's twenty five dollars. Y'all should join, please. Um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab Dan Smith and then Natasha will be next. Dan Smith, hop on on. Asked to unmute. There you are. There you go. I think I'm unmuted now. So first of all, I'd like to say thank you for all the hours of entertainment. As I look at the, the involvement you've been in, I, I've really enjoyed a lot of your efforts. So thank you for the many, many hours of enjoyment you've provided. Aww, thank uh, you. The other question is, <laughs> so let me get to a question that I think would be very difficult for someone in your position. In the world of digital publishing, be it movies, music, or books, there is so much content out there for movies, music and books, it would be really hard to find the right storyline and find a unique storyline. So I also am an avid reader and I now there's all sorts of authors there that have never been published that create these really unique storylines that are really well written. So the question is, how often do you look at the books, the popular books, the storyline from the authors and get inspiration or find direction from the, the written part of the entertainment world to translate your work? Um, I mean, it's part of what we are trying to do every day. So like we're, you know, I've got a whole team that digs and digs and digs for different things, whether it be um, novels or articles or comic books or uh, remakes, you know, and um, and, and we are, you know, and we miss a ton of them, to be honest, that's the hard part, right? Um, but, uh, you know, uh, Bullet Train was based on a Japanese novel um, called Maria Beetle. Um, and I thought that that was super, a super successful uh, adaptation for us. Um, you know, we are, Fall Guy is obviously based on an old television series. Um, so it's, you know, it, I think we do try to mine from sort of what's out there, as well as like a super open to an original idea, which like the Santa Claus movie is, is a, you know, is an original. Nobody was based on uh, Bob Odenkirk having an experience with somebody who robbed his house and he felt like he wanted to take action that he couldn't take and that inspired the whole thing. I mean, it's, you know, I, I think we're just looking for big ideas um, that are super connectable, that feel you know, as original as possible in a world where there's so much material out there and nothing's original anymore. <laughs> so you know, it's a super yeah. easy, we've set ourselves up to you know, make it super easy for ourselves, but um, you know, it, it, it's actually one of the biggest challenges these days is how to look for, find, create, you know, and, then, and then part of our process is making it even more sort of worthy of people's time and uh you know to so that we can break through the chaos and the the um you know a constant sort of barrage of opportunities that people have to see and watch and do um so it's what we're trying to do every day <laughs> great question, all right well Dan. good luck with that thank you for the thank you for letting me ask back on mute great question okay truly. okay are we gonna go for natasha hop on up sweetheart i'll kind of try to move through the room as quick as i can y'all Hello, Hi. how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, also in Sydney, so. Um, oh, um, no way! Yeah, um, I just wanted to, I say, just wanted yeah. to say, oh, sorry, it's so, so, so growing so, up, I, I started Master Show Art since I was about six, um, and all of my heroes were like Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan. And when I watched Atomic Blonde, it like, I was just like, wow it's like not just it's not just about the fight scene it was the story it was the melodrama it was everything and I was like yeah this is what this is what I want to do and I firstly thank you for again like I think everyone on this call is super appreciative of the work that you do it's super inspirational and you're just doing it and it's amazing <laughs> oh, thanks. Um, yeah and I, I I guess I my question is coming from documentaries and moving into the martial arts space um did you have a background in martial arts was it something that you grew up thinking as well wow like everyone do that or i want to bring women in the, the forefront and and show that women you know just as powerful exactly like what um, margo was saying before we have stories to tell too and break through was that something that was always kind of a part of you or did you kind of like find that along your way like what was the transition 
Um, you know, that thing that I told you where it was like the little idea sparks into kind of a lot. And when with Atomic Blonde, it was like my little idea that sparked into a lot. David was actually my entree into sort of like what action, what the language of action could do with regards to empowerment, with regards to adding awesome. I mean, I actually think about action as melodrama. So it was really awesome for you to say that, like um, it punctuates the highs and lows and it makes the um, whole journey of the character more emotional and effective for me. And if it's done right, and if it's done in that character-based way that Atomic Blonde was, and really a lot of our movies are. So yeah. all that to say is I think I know I identified that it was a super powerful tool that watching David and Chad early on, like create like just the moments of action, like before they were even directing really was the inspiration that I could sort of connect those dots together and tell 